Monday brought us our first ever virtual WWDC. This keynote was packed with exciting stuff. We got iOS 14, iPadOS 14, macOS Big Sur, and watchOS 7. But I'm here to tell you about iOS 14 today, so let's get straight into it. The big standout feature for iOS 14 comes in the home screen. We finally get widgets. So what you see here is a smart stack of widgets, meaning that they will adjust and, you know, show you different widgets throughout the day. And you can move widgets almost freely around the home screen. There are a few limitations for placing them, but you can make a screen full of widgets. So to add widgets, all you have to do is press and hold the home screen, tap the plus icon in the top left, and there you have it, a big list of all the widgets. Now, these widgets can come in different sizes depending upon where you want to place them. Some of them have small, medium, and super large ones, like this podcast one right here. I just wish they were resizable on the home screen. Another new feature is the ability to edit pages from a big page view. You can hide and show whichever pages you'd like to see, making your dream minimalist home screen a lot easier. Now, the widgets aren't as interactive as I'd wish them to be, you know, just tapping them opens the app, but they deliver a perfect amount of information at a glance, and that's more than enough for me. They also have that cool animation which you just saw. You can also stack widgets on top of each other, making your own stack. And you might be thinking, what about third-party widgets? Well, app developers are going to have to optimize them first, because in their current state, they don't look good at all. Also, another tidbit is if you press and hold the home screen page indicator, well, you can cycle between pages. The next biggest feature is App Library. So this is kind of like the app drawer from Android. Swiping all the way to the right of your home screen brings up the app library and everything is automatically categorized into, well, the type of category of app that it is. If you don't want to search through all these categories for your app, swiping down reveals a list view in which you can search for whatever app you want or just find it on your own. They're all arranged in alphabetical order, which will make searching much easier. The next thing I want to talk about is the compact UI. Now, Siri has a new interface. It no longer takes the entire screen, so you can see what you're doing. And another big tidbit is Siri is 20 times smarter than before. I'm sure we're going to hear a lot less of the I found this on the web from her. The biggest change by far has to be the addition, or should I say the removal, of the huge call screen UI. Now it shows up as a bar that can be easily dismissed. Next, let's talk about camera improvements. Apple didn't talk about this, but now you can capture quick take video in photo mode on iPhone XR, XS, and XS Max. So you get the great iPhone 11 Pro camera interface, but on your older device. It brings the options of changing the frame rate straight in the camera app. Another amazing thing is the improved shot-to-shot -shot performance. You can shoot up to 90 times faster and portrait shots 15% faster. There's also a toggle that you can enable in settings called mirror front camera. So when you switch over to selfie mode, it will mirror the shot that you just took. So let's take a look. There we go. Also, remember the fast shooting that I just talked about earlier? I don't think that there's any image quality loss, but it's something you can turn on and off. Now, since iOS 14 has a lot of features, I'm just going to tell you about each one of them now. App Clips is a small part of an app that's discoverable at the moment you need it and is focused on doing a specific task. The Home app also comes with new features, such as face recognition for video cameras and adaptive lighting for smart light bulbs. Another cool new feature that I discovered is optimized battery charging for AirPods. This will allow you to maintain the battery health of those small things. Another awesome new feature is Picture-in-Picture. Picture. You can continue watching a video or take a FaceTime call while you use other apps. You can move the video player anywhere on the screen, resize it, or even hide it so just the audio plays. There's also been the addition of several new privacy-related features. Now you can tell whenever an app is using the mic or the camera with the tiny dot that you see there in the upper right-hand notch. Swiping down to reveal the control center will also reveal whichever app is using the system's camera or microphone. Next up is a feature I'm super happy to see, and that is the option to search for emojis in the emoji keyboard. Now you can search whatever phrase you'd like, and the appropriate emoji will show along. This kind of sorta related to the new Messages app that lets you pin contacts up to the top. You can pin up to 9 favorites and they'll all sit at the top. Now you can directly reply to a specific message, and that can be viewed as a thread later on. Another feature that'll be super useful to us Indians is the segregation of messages. Now transactions and all those junk SMSs get put into one place, and all those who you care about in another. iOS 14 also brings three new Memoji stickers and more expressive Memoji with much better face muscle tracking. A new app has made its way to the home screen in iOS, and that's the Translate app. It works pretty well, and it also supports offline translation, which brings me to the next feature that is translation of different languages to English in the Safari web browser. 
Hitting Translate instantaneously translates the web page. No refresh required. Next up is the new sleep mode in iOS. I'm glad to see that Apple has taken a much more mindful approach to sleep tracking. It also features this cool shortcuts page on the lock screen so that when you're asleep, you just get quick access to the main apps that you want to access. The music app has also been revamped with new arrangements and a colored UI even when lyrics are off. Oh, and Apple Music also features infinite playback, so when you're done with the song, it'll play something similar next. This brings us to the next feature in iOS that allows you to see how loud you're listening to whatever you're listening to in real time. This way you aren't damaging your ears with very loud volumes. There's also a lot of tiny other tidbits, like if you're lost in a menu, pressing and holding the back button will allow you to see where you've been, and you can go back. iOS 14 also features three new wallpapers, so you can head into the wallpaper section, stills, and you'll find three new wallpapers. They all have dark mode equivalents too, so they'll switch automatically. This one's my favorite. Next up, there's a cool new accessibility feature. So if you go into accessibility, touch, and back tap, so you can assign an action to double tapping or triple tapping the back of your iPhone. It could be anything, a Siri shortcut or whatever is listed above. I'm surprised at how well this works, though beware, this only works on an iPhone 10 or later. You can also use this trick to launch Google Assistant if that's your thing. But like I said before, any of your Siri shortcuts can be assigned to the back tap. Hold tight, we're nearing the end of this video. Now, the Activity app has been renamed and made into the Fitness app, featuring a revamped UI with a lot of the stuff consolidated into one place. The base UI is still the same, but the layout has been much more simplified. So yeah, that's most of the important features in iOS 14 that I think you'd like to know about. The public release of iOS 14 is expected to be in September as usual, and if you've got any of the following devices which are shown on screen, well, you can run it just fine. It's super cool to see that Apple is still supporting the success and even the first gen SE. And that brings us to the end of this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss a future video. Hit that like button, it'll help me a ton, and I'll see you guys in the next video.